Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to make on sale carousel dynamic. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is on sale carousel, and uh, these are the products uh, which are on sale. Okay, now let's uh, make uh, this on sale carousel dynamic. Okay, so for that, switch to the project and uh, uh, just open the home complete class file so just go inside the app directory then http uh, livewire and from here uh, open home component.php file inside this file uh, let's fetch all products uh, which are on sale okay so inside the render method after this uh, let's create a variable this products is equal to model name product colon colon add here the where condition where uh, sale underscore price is greater than uh, zero uh, then let's uh, fetch all records so i'm just going to fetch here in random order so just write here in random order and after this Call here the get method and now uh, from all record I am just going to call uh, get uh, take here only eight record so just use here take and inside this pass here number of record eight okay now uh, just copy this and uh, pass inside this array view array okay so after this add here comma s product arrow dollar this product okay now save this file and now just open the home component view file so from the resources directory let's go inside the resources directory then views uh, live wire and from here open home dash component dot play dot php file and inside this file let's find the on sale carousel uh, you can see here this is the on sale carousel and inside this carousel uh, you can see here the carousel item first product and this is the second third one uh, fourth fifth sixth uh, seven and eight okay and now uh, just remove the first carousel element where uh, carousel product and also remove the product from the carousel okay we need only one uh, carousel product after uh, this give uh, add here for each directive so just write here at the rate for each dollar is product as dollar is product okay and now uh, just cut this in for each and uh, paste after this step all right now remove the extra spaces okay and one more th uh, one more thing before this carousel add here a condition if dollar is product uh, number of records inside the s product use here the count method is greater than zero then show this carousel okay otherwise hide this All right, and now inside this for each, uh, just remove this title, product name, and add here double curly bracket, dollar, is product, arrow name, and now just copy this, and uh, from here, remove the product name, and paste here, product arrow, is product, arrow name, okay, and uh, for the product image uh, just remove this image name and after the curly bracket add your forward slash then curly bracket dollar s product arrow image all right and uh, this is the sale slash and this is the quick view so just remove this quick, quick view uh, quick view from here and uh, uh, here just add the product details link so double curly packet dollar is products 
product arrow uh, sorry add here the route name route and uh, product dot detail and also pass here the slug slug arrow dollar is product arrow slug all right now just copy this and paste inside this href okay and now uh, for showing the selling price and the regular price uh, here uh, let's show the re uh, selling price so just add a double curly bracket uh, is product arrow sale underscore sale underscore price and uh, here the print here dollar s products product arrow regular price okay all right now it's done so save this file and let's check this. so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay and here you can see the all cell all cell sl is not showing okay so first of all uh, let's log in inside the admin admin user and uh, just click on all products and uh, here let's show the sale price first so switch to the project and uh, open admin uh, from the live wire directory from the resources directory live wire admin and from here just open admin dash product dash component or blended php file and inside this table uh, let's add here another column which is sale price okay and after this regular price just copy this and paste here and change here the column in sale underscore price all right okay now save this and uh, refresh the page now you can see here the sale price now uh, let's edit some product and add here sale price so just click on edit link and now enter the sale price let's say 200 now click on update product at, uh, updated now edit another product And add here the sale price. Let's say two six eight. Click on update. Updated. Add it. And add here the sale price. Let's say one twenty. Click on update. All right, more product. So click on edit and add here the sale price. So let's go to uh, one zero. Click on update and one more product. So click on the thing and this time add here the sale price. Okay, now click on update. And you can see here uh, this five product has now uh, have now sale price okay so now let's check this product on uh, on sales uh, carousel so just click on the home link and inside the home page and inside the on sale carousel you can see here the all five products okay which are the five products now let's add the sale price in one more products so inside the all products link let's edit this product and uh, add here the sale price 289 and now click on update update it 
and now just click on the home link and here you can see the five records and the fifth record okay these are all are on sale all right now just click on the any one product so i'm just going to click this one and inside the product details page here you can see it's showing only regular price okay not showing the sale price so let's uh, make changes inside the uh, product details page so switch to the project project and uh, from the resources directory just open the product uh, details dash component dot blade dot php file and uh, inside this file Uh, you can see here the price here this is the regular price so before this div before this div add here if active if dollar product arrow scale underscore price scale underscore price is greater than zero then uh, add here the else part else and after this, just close here the directory. And inside this, if you just copy this line and paste here, okay. And if sale price is greater than zero, then uh, cross the regular price and so the sale price. Okay, so inside this, uh, add here sale price, sale underscore price. And after this span, uh, let's add here uh, tag bill and uh, also add here a span tag class product price product dash price and also add one more class sale price. Okay, sale price and inside this expand tag uh, simply print here the regular price okay uh, sale price to regular price REG price and now simply write here dollar product arrow regular underscore price all right now let's copy this class name and uh, add some css for the uh, for this okay so let's go to the top and uh, here after this add here a style tag and now add some css so first paste here the class name and now just write here font weight font weight 300 Font size 13 pixel. Also, add here the important. Okay, and color as this one. And text decoration, text dash decoration line that's through okay and also uh, add here the padding left 10 pixel all right now save this file now it's done so uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page and now you can see here uh, this is the regular price and this is the sale price okay now let's check another product so click on home link and this time i'm just going to click uh, on this product and here uh, you can see here this is the sale uh, sale price 50 dollar and this is the regular price 93 dollar all right so in this way you can make on sale carousel dynamic
so that's all about making all cell character dynamics so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching